I'm Eric Sullivan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make sweet potato steak fries. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I haven't made a video in a while, but one of my videos I did three years ago, how I grill a T-bone steak, blew up. At least for me, it blew up. And I thought I'd make a side option for that T-bone steak since it's getting some views. So I'm going to go with sweet potato steak fries. Uh, the goal of this video is to sh pretty much show you how to make a healthy option for any main course like a burger or steak. So let's jump into it. Okay, first thing I did is I cleaned the potato, dried it off, and I like to cut off the ends. It just makes it simple. It makes it easier. And then I go right down the middle and be careful when you cut these potatoes because you can get your finger if you're not careful. If anybody, sorry to point the knife at you, if anybody has a better way of cutting up these sweet potatoes, leave a comment down below, let me know, because one day I know I'm gonna get a chunk of my finger. All right, then, so I got them halved, and just cut them any way you want to, honestly. I'm just gonna cut them into fries. All right, that's what the fries look like cut up. Mm. Here are the seasonings I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use organic extra virgin olive oil, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's how I just said it, and coarse black pepper. And I almost forgot, we're gonna use kosher salt and chili powder. I don't put the kosher salt on until the fries have been cooked, but do whatever you want, and you can use any ingredient you want to. These are just the ones I choose to use. Okay, I put the fries in a bowl. Then I put in about a tablespoon of olive oil, which that's pretty close, right? Then toss them around. Get that oil on all the fries. And then I season them, one of each. I don't know, around a teaspoon, maybe not that. Just whatever you think you can handle on that. Be careful, this will make the fries hot. So a little cayenne. Paprika. This is really just for coloring. Coarse pepper. Chili powder, be careful with this also. You don't want as much. Then I toss it around some more. Try to coat all the sides. They're ready there, but I like to give them a little more garlic powder. And just a little more chili pepper. I like a little. I like a little bit of steam. Okay, those are ready. Okay, I preheat the oven to 350. It's working on that right now. All right, I got me a cookie sheet. I wrap it in foil. This is a step that's not necessary, but I, I use Pam. I just don't want the fries to stick at all. All right, dump your fries on. Spread them out. Okay, it's at 350. So let's put them in the oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna flip them. Okay, we're ready to turn them over. Ooh, a little heat coming out of there. We're gonna just turn them over. I wouldn't suggest using your finger hands, but I don't know. That's what I do. Okay, I'm gonna turn them over and we're gonna cook them for 15 more minutes at 350. All right, now we're gonna take them out. I'm trying to be a good boy and use my oven mitt. Okay, I, I usually let them sit, I don't know, around five minutes, just to cool off, because they're burning up now. 
Okay, it's been five minutes, and I lied to you. I didn't use kosher salt. I just used regular old salt. Kosher salt doesn't really stick on the fries after they're cooked. I'm going to use some ketchup for dipping sauce. You don't have to, obviously. And let's go for the taste test. Yep, I would. Now, if if you'd rather, if you like a crispier fry, I would cook it at 450 or 400 uh, because there's a little gooiness to that. I like that. You might not like it. Just a heads up. So. 400 or 450 might be a little better for people that like a little crispier fry. Same amount of time though. All right, let's go over the steps. Wash your potato, cut your potato, put it in a bowl, and use olive oil, about a tablespoon. Shake the bowl around, put your seasonings on, which were previously listed. Bake at 350 to 450 crispier at 450 for 20 minutes on a cookie sheet turn them at after 20 minutes and then cook them for 15 more minutes take them out let them set for about five minutes okay that does it i love this as a side dish for a burger or a steak and that's the main reason i made this video is because of my t-bone on a charcoal grill video kind of blew up for a guy like me so i wanted to add to that video i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment down below if you have anything to add or to help the process thanks have a great day